So let's keep going on these. Some of these can be fairly challenging. And this time Mason is standing on the fifth step of a vertical ladder. The ladder has 15 steps and the height difference between consecutive steps is 0.5. So H of N models the height above the ground in meters after moving in steps. If Mason went down the ladder, N is negative. So which number type is more appropriate for the domain of H? So again, let's just write down what the letters represent. We have H of N and N. So N is which step of the ladder he's on, or after moving in steps, since he's starting at the fifth step. So if he goes up, let's say two steps, then the N value would be two. So we can say N is the number of steps above the fifth step, since that's his starting step. So another way to define it is N is how many steps Mason has moved up or down the ladder, where if he goes down, then the N value is negative. So H of N, that's going to deal with the height above the ground, and that's going to be in meters. So this is the height you can put above the ground, but it's going to be in meters. And the units for N, well, N doesn't really have a unit. It's just what number step that Mason has moved. So this one you have to be careful with, since when looking at what number type is appropriate for the domain, we're talking about steps here on the ladder. And in this case, he can only move in whole number steps. He can't go half a step up because that would essentially just be air. There would be nothing for his foot to step onto. So he can go up one step or two step or three steps, but he can't go up some fraction of a step because in this case, that's impossible. So for this one, we have integers because it's whole number steps going up or down. And then talking about the appropriate domain, so remember, it's the lowest value that he can have for the number of steps above or below that fifth step. And we want to go up to the highest number. So N, remember, that's just how many steps he's moving. And so if he's starting on the fifth step, he could move down. He could actually move down five units. So the lowest amount that he can move would be down five which there's only one choice like that. But we want to make sense of the upper bound as well, this highest value, because he's at step five and it has 15 steps total. So it looks like he can go from five to 15, which is adding 10 steps. So he could move 10 steps upward. So the highest amount that he can move would be 10. The lowest amount that he can move, he can go down five. So hopefully both of these values make sense. And again, you could look at the height since everything is in 0.5 increments. So to get to that fifth step, he's two and a half meters above the ground and the ground would be at zero. But that number two and a half, that's dealing with the height, which is the Y values or the function values. So you're able to eliminate that one. And again, the 15 step times 0.5 would be seven and a half above the ground. So you can eliminate that as well. And so really this one just comes down between these and just noticing that he's not starting on the ground, he's starting on the fifth step. So he is able to go down those five steps if necessary. Let's do one more of these. So we have the house numbers on a certain street that go from one to 88. The function B of N models the type of building whose number is N according to the following key. So we have residential, commercial, and government, and that will give us a different type of output, either 0, 1, 2, or 3. So if we plug in, let's say, house number 33, and it gave us 2 for our output, that would tell us house number 33 is a government building. So let's write down what the letters represent. We have B of N, and the function B of N models the type of building. So that is the type of building. And notice that you only have these four choices, 0, 1, 2, and 3, residential, commercial, government, or other. And then N is just the number of the house. So house numbers on a certain street go from 1 to 88, 
And this function models the type of building whose number is n. So n we can say is the house number. So what is the, which number type is more appropriate for the domain of B? Well, domain deals with n, the house numbers, and those go from 1 to 88. But when you have physical house numbers or addresses, they don't have fractions. You would have house 1, house 2, house 3, and so on, all the way up to house 87 and 88. But it's going to be jumping from one whole number to the next. You wouldn't have house 2.14 or house 3.86. They go in whole number increments. So in this case, it's going to be integers because integers, remember, are just whole numbers. So you don't have fractions or decimals, which is why you can eliminate the real numbers. And then what is the appropriate domain? Well, it goes from 1 to 88. So choice letter A would be the correct answer here.